So a uh, brief introduction about ourselves. Uh, I'm Vikas Anand. Uh, I'm a director of product for Firebase. Um, I live in California. I just flew in yesterday. Uh, and uh, I have led a product for developers. Uh, I'm really excited about helping developers bring AI into their applications and truly happy to be here to meet you all uh, at DevVest. Uh, Dev Ali? Hi, uh, my name is Ali Sadr. I'm a product manager that recently joined Project IDX. Uh, previously, I led Firebase Cloud Messaging at Firebase. Um, and I'm quite passionate about developer tools and services. And uh, this happens to be my first time presenting at uh, DevFest Singapore. Uh, and I'm looking forward to exploring all the food places uh, around Singapore later tonight and tomorrow. Awesome, thank you. So let's get into the presentation. What I'll do is we'll split. I'm going to just give you a little bit of an overview, and then Ali is going to dive into showing you things, right? Uh, so before I talk about the overview, how many of you have not heard of Gen AI in this room? How many of you have not heard LLMs in this room? Exciting. Like pretty much everybody's here. It makes my job very easy uh, because I was going to tell you what generative AI and LLM is. Uh, so for a moment. I want to take a step back and distinguish between traditional AI and generative AI because AI has been around for many years, maybe 70 years, and has manifested into different forms. Uh, traditional AI works under some constraints. It is basically trained on data, but it works under some rules uh, and can do some predictions. So you can use it for workflows or for automation, right? The difference which has happened which is a, a big shift for generative AI is, it's the type of artificial intelligence which can actually create content, right? So now it can create content like text, images, video, uh, in almost in a human-centric approach, right? Uh, LLMs uh, are sophisticated uh, you know, capabilities uh, to provide you things like autocomplete. And the way you talk to LLMs is using natural language, right? So if you look at the next slide, uh, LLMs actually make it very easy uh, to interact with large data sets uh, by using a prompt. You don't have to have uh, ML expertise. Uh, you essentially get uh, to type a prompt, and then it gives you a response back, right? And I'm so excited that we have so many people walking in. So uh, I think it's about time we move to the next part of the presentation. Since we've covered <coughs> The concepts, which I did so well, you're all excited? Yeah, give me some energy, yeah? So we are gonna focus on prototyping, 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 and it's gonna all happen live. Ali, thanks to you. Thank you, so thanks because, um, so as you know, one of the most important things in this LLM world is you just gotta prototype and see what's capable. So what I'll walk through is a simple recipe, uh, how you can prototype. It will take about five to 10 minutes, it's very easy. And at the end, we'll have one serving of a prototype. What we'll build is a very simple story generator. You give it a prompt, and it will generate a story for you. What we'll need here is a Google account. As long as you have a Google account, you're able to achieve all of these. You can get a Palm API key, and less than 100 lines of code, and mostly borrow up a code, you'll be able to create an application that generates stories. Like, this is a lot of power to you. And we'll kind of look through some of these tools as well. And then optionally, you need your favorite IDE or development environment. So for me, I will choose Project IDX, the product I work on, and, and it's uh, why I use it. I'll, I'll share, with that, uh, share it with you. And then on top of that, we will use Firebase extensions specifically to call our Palm API securely from the client, because this application doesn't really have a backend. So to secure our API key access to the LLM, we'll use uh, and show you how easy it is to use Firebase functions to abstract that away and call uh, API directly from um, the client. So first, we'll uh, take an overview of Maker Suite. Uh, Maker Suite uh, is a central place where you can go for Google LLMs and see what the capabilities are, whether it's about generating text, uh, having generated data, or even chat prompts. You can play around with it without any coding experiences. And we'll show you how to use this tool and then eventually uh, plug it into your application so you can start coding with that. Uh, like I said, there's, there's the options you can see, like the inputs uh, and the controls that you can do with LLMs in terms of generating uh, how it generates uh, content. 
Next, uh, I'll, I'll use Project IDX. What Project IDX is is a complete AI-enhanced development environment um, in your browser that's focused on multi-platform development. What this really means is that you have a full VM online in the cloud, and you have access to all the goodies of Visual Studio Code. It's based on VS Code OSS. Uh, so if you have your favorite extensions and whatnot, you can use all of that here in the same tool chain. And you have all that power within uh, the browser. The other cool thing about that is uh, if you are a Flutter developer or building for iOS and Android, if you don't have access to emulators, you can actually use it from here and have access to those straight from your browser. Um, we will look at you know, the live previews that you can uh, use directly from Project IDX. By show of hands, who, who here has access to Project IDX or know about Project IDX? I guess I should have asked that before. Anybody? No? All right, well, there you go. You can actually uh, QR code scan this here, uh, and you can sign up for a wait list, um, and we will get you access shortly. Then we'll use Firebase extensions, like I mentioned. It's prepackaged solutions. Uh, we'll secure our Palm API. Um, and then the benefits of using this. Again, you don't need to expose your API key. You can provide uh, secure endpoints, and you can secure it by using AppCheck to make sure that your calls to your applications are coming from real devices and real people versus an automated bot as well. Uh, you can also easily configure auth, like Google Auth or Facebook Auth, uh, and other things such as login and monitoring. All right, so step one, I uh, will go through actual demo right now, uh, preparation. So what you want to do is once you have access to a maker suite, you want to go ahead and go to API keys and create an API key. You will need this API key uh, when we configure the Firebase extensions, because that's how uh, the Firebase extensions knows how to call and, and authenticate to the Palm API. So once you have that, um, you can go to Firebase extensions. Go to Firebase extensions. I've already have this installed, uh, but I'll show you quickly what you can do. You can explore extensions. You can search for call Palm API securely. You can see the view details. Uh, and as simple as clicking install. And you will go through like a wizard flow. Oops, this is gonna launch into my others. Um, it'll go through a wizard flow and, and it will ask you to enter the API key. And once you enter that, it will securely store that in the secrets manager so you never have to expose that to your customers uh, or endpoints. All right, now let's go into the code. I'm going to go straight into the code. This is Project IDX. So what first we need is to connect to Firebase. Um, anyone who's used Firebase here before? Any Firebase users? All right, I see Firebase users. So you're very uh, familiar with this Firebase config, right? You go to the console, you get a set of configurations for your client side, auth keys, uh, and related information. Then we simply just initialize the Firebase uh, app. And for our use case here, we'll use uh, anonymous auth. It doesn't require people to sign in. However, uh, you can use this so uh, you can basically control or manage like codas and things like that, and make sure that there's not abuse happening. The next set of things are you need to know where the cloud functions are, is located, the instance we're going to be calling, um, and that's pretty much it, and, and the, the function we're going to call. And you can get all this information from Firebase extensions, when you go to manage, you will see where the functions is deployed, um, any kind of APIs and resources that it deploys. So we'll be calling the post method. Uh, and, in, and there's actually a sample as well of how to call this function. So now that we have our Firebase function set up, let's look at what we need to do next. So next, I'm going to create a simple, I'm, I'm using Vue.js. I don't know, anyone use Vue.js before? Any Vue.js fans here? There we go, one. Um, I'm a PM, uh, I, I don't code often, but I like Vue.js, so that's what I use today. And as you will see from here, I just created a component. Simple lines of code here. This is just generating this UI. And let me click that. And here's just a few lines of code that basically calls the function and does um, uh, makes the call to the LLM. 
Now, in here, we talked about prompt, like Vikas talked about the prompt before. And in Maker Suite, we showed you the tool where, let's see if that works, where you can write a prompt, right? Like write a story about, and then you can give it any kind of prompt, like the text field that we have. Um, and you can try it out here. And so from this tool, as you can see here, we went to say JSON. It's basically telling all the configuration that you have tested out. And so this is pretty much what we have here, listed out here. We're going to call this particular model. We're going to generate text. And this is a prompt we're sending. And in here, input text, we're just entering um, whatever the user enters. So let's try that out. We just talked about us eating food. I'm going to click that and see if that works. Demos, LLMs, let's see. All right, let's see. Two friends who love to eat. That's true. Uh, been traveling to Singapore. Yeah, this looks good. So it just generated a story, uh, just simply just by calling an API. Now, the power, uh, I just showed you a very simple uh, use case here. But what else can you do? And this is what I mean by prototype, prototype, prototype. You can go back to, say, prompt. What if I wanted to con uh, control the look and feel? I wanted not just simple text. Maybe I wanted some structure to that. So I can just play around with it and see if the LLM actually will adhere to my prompt. If I tell it, write a story about something, I insert a um, token, and then convert the story into a valid JSON output. Right? So I give it instructions. And it actually does. Right? So if I run this again, you will see that I tried it out, and it will return a JSON fully qualified JSON object. So now, in my front end code, I can say, hey, the title goes here. If there's an you know, image or if there's other things, a body, or if there's code, I can render things differently. What if I just wanted to do HTML fragments? I can even give it instructions and say, hey, you know, return an HTML fragment where I have a title with a header and a section of the body of the story. And voila, it returns a story with a section, header. So as you can probably start to see, it starts to get really, really powerful. Like, this is an endpoint, an API, simple function call. And now I have an API that returns text. It returns JSON structures. It returns HTML code. So the possibilities here are kind of endless. And so tools like Maker Suite, tools like IDX, uh, Firebase, allows you to be able to like prototype and figure out what, what is capable, what is possible with these LLMs. What can you build? Uh, and as you saw, I went through all of this without having to have a credit card enabled <laughs> that said, hey, make your switch. So as long as you have a Google account, uh, you can go ahead and start using that. And Ali, do you want to change the prompt there to the same prompt? Sorry, say that again? Do you want to change the prompt to the same prompt? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's try it on this tool here. Let's add another sample test. We'll say this, return uh, the input text. Uh, what do we want the instructions to be? Uh, short story. Let's see. Actually, I've not done this before. So let's see if that actually returns a short, shorter story. There we go. It returned that story. And so just want to quickly highlight there are other advanced settings that you can do in terms of how much to return safety settings if there is a particular um, application you're building, say, for kids, and, and you want toxicity to be li limited and or you know, violent content, you can change all of these settings. So the, the model, the, AP, the LLM, exposes the capabilities. So you can test out how your input yields a particular response. So kind of going back to Project IDX, now that we have our application, what do we do? So just to show you how easy it is with Project IDX, I can go to Firebase here and say, you know, I want to deploy this to a hosting so I can send it to my friends and they can test it out and tell me feedback. All I have to do is just say press a button and it's going to take a few minutes to compile. Let's do that. There we go. I think it's almost done. You can see the logs here. And voila, it just deployed a Firebase hosting. And now, actually, we can try this out. Does anyone want to try this out? I haven't done this before. Let's see. If you scan that code, you should probably be able to get access to this. Let's try this out. Let's see if we can <laughs> break it. 
All right. And let's try this again about the food. Let's see if that generates. Is that working for you all? Let's try crash it. There we go. So as you can see, that, that was very easy for me to share. Now everybody here, like I just deployed into Firebase, just a couple of clicks. Um, and there's other ways to share this. So imagine you want to share this with your friend who's also building this application. You want to see the code and uh, run this through. What we could do is go to Project IDX and say share workspace. Say like, for example, because. Let's say because. Is that your alias? I forget. Because and, right? Yeah. So all of you know my email now. There we go. So now I can just share uh, this, uh, this workspace, and Vikas can go ahead and log in himself into this workspace, has everything set up exactly like I have for this workspace, and start coding. Uh, try it out as well. All right. Um, so to recap, we had simple Firebase configuration that we had to do. It was just a few lines of configuration and a couple of lines of instruction to get started. Next, we set up pointers to our cloud functions. And then we generated the UI that we wanted. A simple component where, again, we set up the configurations for the LLM to understand. We wanted to generate text, what the prompt was going to be, and other related settings uh, that we wanted to do. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then once we got the response back, we just handled the response into our uh, UI. And again, this is uh, our UI code that's very simple. Um, you can get it as complicated as you need to for your use case. And last, we looked at how to deploy directly from Firebase as well as share our uh, environments. All right, what is uh, step three? Well, step three, uh, just to summarize this for you, right? The key takeaway from this session for you is that Ali and Vikas came to search for good food in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tonight and tomorrow, uh, all out. Remember, we're all developers here, right? Raise your hand, all of you. These tools are here today. Just go and create your Google account and log into Maker Suite. Start playing with this. And by the way, the prompt, the story, uh, I don't know, Ali, if you can flash that story for a second. It's pretty accurate. We actually went out for dinner last night and there's a line, <laughs> there's a line over here. It says, Ali and Vikas love the chili crab. That is so true. The pepper crab was awesome. Yes. Uh, so uh, that sort of uh, concludes our session. If you want to find us, go back to the slide for a second. Uh, we are also available on Twitter. Uh, but I do realize you also have my email. So uh, you know, I can flash that again if uh, anyone needs that again. Feel free to reach out. Uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And so great to meet you all at Singapore Dev Fest. Thank you. Have a good sure. day, best. Thanks. <laughs>